My name is Pastor Earl McBride, pastor of Uplift Word Ministries, and I wanted to share my thoughts on the passage of scripture, Proverbs, the 13th chapter, verses 22. And the NLT, the New Living Translation, says this, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. Again, Proverbs 13, 22 says this, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children, but the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. And one of the words that is very clear is inheritance. That word is a financial term describing the assets being passed down to individuals after someone dies. Usually, the assets are in, in the form of cash, property, investments, or something that the person passing it down deemed valuable. However, I believe that when King Solomon, being led by God, wrote this passage of scripture, I believe that he was not only talking about natural assets, but also spiritual and mental assets. That being said, I believe a good man should pass down a way of thinking. And that way of thinking needs to be in line with God's word. The next generation needs to know that his, his grandfather, his great-grandfather, and all of those that came before him, they ensure that whatever they did, they always sought God's instructions, God's answers in his holy word. And by having that mentality, when they face problems, when they face challenges, they'll make sure, based on that way of thinking of referring to God's word will be a immediate response to go seek answers, seek counsel, seek instruction by reading God's word. Proverbs 23 verse 7 says this, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. If you are not thinking according to God's word, then you open up your door, or you open up yourself, I should say, to not fulfilling God's will and plans and purpose for your life. Secondly, we should pass down as good men an inheritance of a family vision. We need to ensure that we pass down a family vision for the generations to come. That way, they always know or they always have an outline of what they should be doing and how they should be doing it and what they should be using to do it. They can add to the vision, but in general, the family vision is something that they can refer to and ensure that they follow because it is a blueprint that God has given the family in order to be successful. Thirdly, we should pass down resources. Resources such as investments, properties, anything that can generate additional wealth or can lead to resources becoming more vast or increased or being able to increase our resources. This is important. However, if one and two is not passed down, then you risk that the resources that you are leaving to be squandered away because they have, they do not have the right way of thinking or how to use those resources according to God's word or have an understanding of how the resources are to be used regarding the family vision or the blueprint that God has given the family. So as good men, we should ensure that we pass down a way of thinking as it aligns to God's word. We should pass down a family vision 
that is the blueprint that God has given the family to be successful and also resources, resources that can be used to generate additional resources so that our children's 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 children are being blessed and are fulfilling God's will and plans for their lives. I hope that what I've said has will cause you to think about what you need to leave or pass down. God bless you and thank you for allowing me to share.